Gazing up at the night sky, one can't help but marvel at the spectacle of stars that adorn the celestial sphere. These luminous bodies of plasma, scattered across the vast expanse of the universe, have been a source of fascination and wonder for millennia. However, what if I told you that these seemingly immutable celestial bodies are not as permanent as they appear? That's right, stars, just like everything else in the universe, are subject to change and even disappearance. The James Webb Space Telescope, a marvel of modern technology, has detected that an astonishing 900 trillion stars have mysteriously vanished from the observable universe. This revelation has sent shockwaves through the scientific community and has led to a flurry of research and speculation about the fate of these celestial bodies. The journey of space telescopes, from the humble beginnings of the Hubble Space Telescope to the cutting-edge marvel of the James Webb Telescope, is a testament to human ingenuity and technological advancement. These telescopes have revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos, revealing that the lights we see in the night sky are not just points of light, but physical bodies, stars, star clusters, and galaxies. Stars, in theory, exist for millions, even billions of years before they disappear. Therefore, it is not uncommon for stars to suddenly vanish from our field of view. However, the question that baffles scientists is, what happens to these stars? Where do they go? And could our sun, a star itself, also disappear one day? Throughout its operational life, the Hubble Space Telescope has witnessed the death of stars through supernovae and planetary nebulae, shedding light on the final stages of stellar evolution and the cosmic recycling of matter. This has proven that while stars are powerful, they do have a lifetime and they will eventually die. As the years passed, Astronomers and scientists yearned for even greater capabilities and enhanced understanding of the universe. Enter the James Webb Telescope, a technological marvel poised to surpass its predecessor in every conceivable way. The primary mission of the James Webb Telescope is to examine the universe's earliest galaxies and explore the mysteries of cosmic evolution. One of the most intriguing aspects of the James Webb Telescope's capabilities lies in its ability to study the formation of stars, planets, and galaxies within dense interstellar clouds where new stars are born. Infrared light becomes an invaluable tool in this regard, as it can penetrate the murky layers of gas and dust, allowing us to trace the delicate steps of stellar formation and unravel the secrets of how stars ignite and blaze into existence. Towards the end of their lives, stars undergo sudden changes before they disappear. A massive explosion, known as a supernova, marks their final day. During this moment, the energy released in a short period is equivalent to the energy emitted by the sun over millions of years, even throughout its entire lifetime. However, as observed by James Webb Telescope, there are instances where stars abruptly vanish without a trace. This has led scientists to question whether there are missing points in our understanding of stellar evolution and disappearance. To further confirm their observations, James Webb Telescope has been deployed to identify potential disappearances. Astronomers examine the wavelengths of light emitted by the stars, their special characteristics, and any distinguishing aspects that may provide insights into their nature and behavior. One critical component of the analysis involves examining the temporal patterns of the disappearing stars. Astronomers must carefully monitor the duration and frequency of vanishing occurrences to find any repeating trends or correlations. This type of observation aids in distinguishing between transient phenomena like stellar flares or eclipses and more persistent disappearances that may imply stellar evolution or catastrophic events. Moreover, Understanding the spatial distribution of the disappearing stars is also crucial. Astronomers examine the areas of the sky where these vanishing events occur, looking for any clustering or unique galactic settings that could provide information on the underlying causes. Mapping the positions of these fading stars aids astronomers in their quest to understand the greater cosmic framework in which these events take place. Astronomers also carefully examine the composition of the emitted light, looking for any telltale signs of specific elements or molecules that could shed light on the mechanisms behind the disappearances. Spectral fingerprints provide vital insights into the underlying stellar processes such as stellar evolution, supernova occurrences, and gravitational interactions within binary star systems. 
Furthermore, researchers investigate the potential influence of external factors on the disappearing stars. They consider the presence of nearby massive objects such as black holes or neutron stars, which could exert gravitational forces capable of distorting the light emitted by the stars. The gravitational lensing effect caused by these massive objects can lead to an apparent disappearance or alteration in the observed characteristics of the stars. With the invaluable support of the Cosmic Eye James Webb Telescope, scientists have identified approximately 900 trillion vanished stars. This number is truly enormous, and as scientists have put forward hypotheses regarding their disappearance, some possibilities have been ruled out. Firstly, scientists have ruled out the possibility that these vanished stars are ordinary variable stars, such as eclipsing binary stars, or stars that disappear due to supernova explosions. Among the observed vanished stars by the James Webb Telescope, scientists could not find any belonging to these categories. Therefore, this possibility was quickly eliminated. Another possibility that has been ruled out is that the stars ended in powerful gamma-ray bursts or rapid transients. Scientists believe that although these bursts are powerful and we may not fully understand them, they have extremely high amplitudes. However, during the period of observation, we did not record any gamma-ray bursts in the vicinity of these vanished stars. One hypothesis that many people would speculate is that they vanished through a failed supernova. In this scenario, a star with an extremely massive core would collapse into a black hole. The black hole would then engulf all the surrounding matter, leaving no remnants behind. Up until now, this explanation sounds plausible, but it is not unanimously agreed upon by scientists. According to scientists, the probability of such an event occurring is estimated to be one every three centuries. Therefore, considering the small portion of space that the James Webb Telescope scans across the sky, the likelihood of this event happening is extremely low. As possibilities are gradually eliminated, the question remains, where have the vanished stars gone? Well, there are a few theories at work here. One of the intriguing hypotheses put forth by astrophysicists to explain the phenomenon is the occurrence of galactic mergers and interactions. According to this theory, when galaxies collide or come close together, the gravitational interactions between their stars could have profound effects on their orbits and configurations. Because of that, the stellar systems within these galaxies experience disturbances and disruptions, leading to the displacement or even ejection of stars from their original positions. During galactic mergers, stars can be flung right out of their galaxies and sent on new trajectories through space. These wandering stars may venture into regions of the universe that are currently beyond our observational capabilities. As a result, they disappear from our observations, adding to the enigma of disappearing stars. The tremendous gravitational forces unleashed by these cosmic encounters modify the actual structures and dynamics of the galaxies involved, changing the fate of individual stars in the process. The idea of galactic mergers and interactions provides a reasonable basis for the observable phenomenon. It implies that the point at which they merge and collide can have far-reaching implications for the distribution and visibility of stars. The properties of galactic interactions, as well as their effects on stellar systems, can assist astrophysicists in unraveling the intricate dynamics that cause star disappearances. Ongoing observations and investigations, combined with computer simulations and modeling, provide valuable insights into the plausibility of this hypothesis. These tools allow scientists to recreate the conditions of galactic mergers and simulate the resulting stellar disruptions. The simulated outcomes are then analyzed and compared with observational data, so researchers can assess the likelihood and implication of galactic interactions as a contributing factor to the disappearing stars phenomenon. While the hypothesis of galactic mergers and interactions offers a compelling explanation, it is just one among several theories proposed by astrophysicists. Until now, scientists have not been able to provide a 100% accurate explanation for the disappearance of 900 trillion stars. The Sun, our very own star, is a yellow dwarf star. According to modern calculations, the age of the Sun is estimated to be about 4.6 billion years. Its lifespan is projected to continue for a significantly long period of time, 
so at present, there is no need to worry about the sun disappearing. This process is still far, far away. However, in a future scenario, after about 5 billion years, if the sun were to disappear, what would happen to Earth? Life on the surface would die pretty quickly. Earth could potentially enter into orbit around another star to replace the lost sun. That star could provide light and heat, similar to what the sun has done for our blue planet. However, scientists do not know when or if this will occur. In the case that Earth is unable to enter into orbit after another star to replace the sun, people around the world would likely rely on electricity to illuminate most of the day. At this point, the electricity consumption would be very high, which could lead to insufficient power production to meet human needs. However, the concerning aspect is that the Earth would rapidly cool down and become extremely cold after the sun disappears. Calculations by experts show that within one week of the sun's absence, the temperature on Earth would drop to minus 17.8 degrees Celsius. Within one year, the temperature of the blue planet would plummet to around minus 73.3 degrees Celsius. With such temperatures, oceans and lakes worldwide would freeze. The worst case scenario for Earth would approximately occur 1,000 years after the sun vanishes. At that time, the planet's atmosphere would collapse, exposing humans and plant species to cosmic radiation and even an increased number of falling meteoroids. When these events occur, the survival of humanity would become incredibly dangerous and could be on the brink of extinction. The mysterious disappearance of stars has led many to believe in the existence of civilizations outside Earth that we cannot yet know. The Hubble has detected and characterized the atmospheres of distant exoplanets, providing invaluable information about their composition and potential habitability, offering tantalizing clues about the possibility of life beyond Earth. With the rapid development of observation and computational technologies, we will soon make significant strides in the quest for understanding space and time. There will come a day when the uncertainties and mysteries of the present moment will be meticulously and scientifically resolved. So do you believe you will be able to identify a catastrophic event like this before it occurs? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below.